and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bagby and today we are back with the first ever episode of the Lucid Legacy Challenge. So yes, you've heard correctly. I'm starting a brand new series um, called a Lucid Legacy Challenge and I am super super excited about it. So first I really quickly want to go over the rules of the challenge just to fill you in so that you will understand what's going on. But also if you've already watched the cast video of me making these sims or the speed build video of the slot, you don't have to, um, you can just skip over the rules because it's the same thing. But yeah, I feel like I can't really start this challenge without explaining you the rules because it's kind of, it's kind of the main point <laughs> of this series. So the Lucid Legacy Challenge is a 10 generation legacy challenge created by the lovely Lucid Simmer. I will link her socials and this challenge page down below so you can check that out if you want to so basically with every generation you have some goals and descriptions or like i guess storylines that you follow with your sim and the first generation is called a farmer family the simple life is the life for you tending to your farm nightly family dinners and knowing everyone in your community you're living the small town dream you and your partner are best friends, not only best friends, but almost the same person. You have the same goals in life and help each other to achieve them. Working together to grow your garden and take care of your animals is only the beginning. Once you started having children, something you've always dreamed of, your farm only expanded from there. Everyone in the house has their own jobs, whether that be cleaning, gardening, cooking, tending to animals, and so on. You make money by selling your own products, and over time, you become the biggest family-run farm in town. Although you love all your children, as you get older you realize there needs to be someone to pass your land onto. You've worked so hard on it your whole life after all. Out of all of your children, there seems to be a clear choice on who it should be. Okay, so this is kind of the main premise or like the main storyline which is really cute. Okay, enough for the goals, which is more of a technical side with what we actually need to have in-game and like achieve and stuff. Okay, so have the family oriented and loves outdoors traits, complete the country caretaker aspiration, max the gardening skill, we must live on a 50 by 40 lot, which we do, start on only a portion of your lot and expand through your life until the entire lot is farmland. I love this concept which is why I have built this farm as a starter home. So yeah, we have a lot of room to expand. Have a partner with the same aspiration as you, whether you create them in cast or meet them in game. Yes, I'm starting with two sims and in my head they're both the founders of this legacy challenge, but the actual sim that we're gonna mostly focus on is maggie and so we will actually complete everything with her i won't try to do it with lou as well just because that would be kind of difficult okay then we have to have at least three children with your partner which i'm really excited win at least two town fair contests have simple living lot challenge on home lot oh wait i think i still have to <laughs> i think i still have to turn that on i don't think i have that yet and then for the last one unlock the people person lifestyle so yeah that's pretty much it for the whole challenge that's going to be the first generation it's all about farming and i'm really really excited because i love these two i think they're so cute and also they're engaged right now i have made them engaged in cast so at some point we are going to have the wedding as well which i'm really excited about all right so first let me kind of show you around the lot a little bit so this is the house from the outside it's very cute very cottagey and we have a lot of room to expand like at some point if we need to we can have a whole second floor um this side we can expand pretty easily as well so yeah we can have a lot of extra room if we need to especially if we're gonna have at least three children <laughs> But yeah, so you come inside and there is a little kitchen. Here we have a little living room area. But then we go into the main bedroom, which yeah, again, very under decorated. But um, necessities are here. We have a little dresser and a little bed, which is really cute. 
And then we already have a little nursery ready for when they decide that it's time to have children. Yeah, it's very empty, but like that's fine. Honestly, we don't need all the stuff in here, at least until we actually decide to have children. And by that time, I think we'll have a bit more money. Okay, and this is the spare bathroom. It's like empty, but yeah, I did want to have two bathrooms in the house. I just didn't have enough money to actually furnish them both but we do have a fully functional bathroom over here uh, we have a little toilet and a shower with a sink but then from the outside we have a little garden area we have a little chicken coop space also i swear the lot looks a lot better when the plants are not actually dead <laughs> but i did start in spring so Eventually we will see plants grow, but right now they're pretty dead. And then we also have a little shed over here. I would also love to have fences here. I just didn't really have enough money left. But yeah, eventually this is gonna be fenced in. Okay, first I would like to purchase chickens, at least two, and I would like to have grown ones. So I might just purchase one rooster and one hen. And then let's also buy a cow. Um, I would also love to have a llama at some point, but I think I want to start with a cow because I'm definitely gonna buy another shed at some point. All right, oh my gosh, we have our first animals and we have very little money left. And with the money that we have left, I would love to purchase some seeds. Okay, first I want like at least two overgrown seeds. Lettuce is pretty cheap and then mushrooms, I think. That's 25, that's not too bad. And now let's purchase some normal seeds as well. Let's get some flowers, fruits, herbs, and vegetables. That's quite expensive, but it's okay. It's the welcome wagon. Okay, let's go. So I will have Lou socialize with them a bit and Maggie as well, but I would like Maggie to plant some stuff first. So plant the lettuce and plant the mushrooms, please. And then let's open the seed packets. Lou, entertain them, please. <laughs> okay, this is what we got from the packets, which is not the best. But I would especially like to plant stuff that actually grows in spring, which is quite a bit, actually. We got quite lucky with that. I think it's pretty good to know the neighbors. Oh, we should know the neighbors with Maggie, especially, because she's supposed to be... She's supposed to have a people person lifestyle. Yeah. Maggie, I need you to meet those people, please. <laughs> um, Lou, do you want to go talk to the cow a bit? Because I didn't socialize with her at all. Also, I was thinking that I want to name the cow Daisy. Just for a bit of fun throwback on Daisy from my Sims and Bloom series. <laughs> so yeah, we have another cute Daisy in this save file as well. For the chickens though, you can comment some name ideas down below. And I will check them out and name the chickens from your ideas. I think that would be really cute. Uh, we will definitely need to try to find some plants around the world as well. Because I know there's some like really good plants, like some berries and mushrooms. The mushrooms are really good to have because you can make the mushroom soup really easily out of them. Okay, the welcome wagon is over, so the sims can leave. And let's clean up a bit. Oh, we can milk Daisy, okay. Right now, it's probably the best to use the resources from our farm to like make food and stuff. But eventually, it would be nice to sell them for money because we do have to get money somehow. Oh, we got a lot of milk for that, okay. I reckon we could actually sell some of it in the market. So I think that would be nice. Oh, we also have birds here. Birds are- yeah, I would love to have- I would love to befriend these birds and also the rabbits so, so that we can have them on our lot that we need to have that. Okay, Meg is already on gardening level 2, which is awesome. I would love to fertilize these. I guess it's only 20. I do only have 80 simoleons, so spending half of the money might not be the best idea but i did it and now i'm gonna fertilize them because i do really want these plants to be like as good as possible as big as possible i guess i should say oh that's so cute <gasps> look at that oh my gosh that's adorable also i just noticed i forgot to paint the roof oh my gosh okay whatever that's really cute oh i gotta take a screenshot 
Aww, they're so cute! I love the interactions between animals, it's actually adorable. Okay, it's getting dark and these guys are getting quite flirty as well. So I reckon we could let them woohoo. So they're just gonna have some fun and celebrate their move in into this little house. Good morning, it's the next day. And Lou is trying to prepare breakfast. He's making a fruit salad because that is literally the only thing besides cheese that we can make right now because of the simple living lot trade. Also, it started thunderstorming at the second day. Like, are you serious? Okay, Maggie, you can grab some food and... Lou, you can go take a shower because you're stinking the place up. Ooh, I reckon we could go to the bar today. I know it's storming, but we could just spend our time indoors while we spend some time at the bar and socialize, meet some new people, you know? I would love to spend more time in the marketplace, but I literally don't think we can. I think it's the best to just go inside and let's order some drinks for ourselves. Wait, maybe we shouldn't. Wait, we can order some water. <laughs> I really don't think we should spend money on drinks. Like that is so useless. Can you come inside, please? I don't want you to get struck by lightning. And, and this is a great opportunity to meet more townies. My game is a bit laggy, which is so annoying, but it always gets a bit laggy when it's thunderstorming, which, yeah, it's just so annoying. Oh, the mayor is here. Oh, wait. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. If you want to help out, a few of the important local villagers are often in need of hand. Just walk up and offer help. Yes, that's what I've been trying to do the entire time. Let me help, let me get the money. It's good to meet the mayor. That's always good, I think. <laughs> yes, offer help with errands. Finally, I got the option. Let me help and you can pay me. Wait, I've got a spot for extra food. Would you be a dear and accept it? Enjoy it for me, will you? Did she give me food? <gasps> That's so sweet. She gave me a watermelon salad. That's so nice. The way she just knows that we're struggling with food. Okay, I would love to help you with errands now. This one is Welcome to Hanford and Bagley. I already know you love it here, but in case you need any convincing, I've arranged a little self-guided local tour. Take up these few and fun, if you say so, errands, and I'll make sure you get a small bundle of rewards at the end. That's perfect. Let's do this one. So we just need to catch a fish in the lake, which I think this lake is right next to our house. Browse the garden or grocery shop, nice. And ask the grocery delivery about their dreams, okay? Ooh, it, start, it stopped raining. Okay, awesome. Now we can just do one of these easily. Let's stop by the garden shop. Also, let's try to haggle. I don't know if that's a good idea, but let's just try. Hey friend, I was wondering if I could stay over at your place for a few days? I'm sorry, you have a wife and a kid, I'm pretty sure. So, why, why, why? No, my house is small, no, please, we're neighbors, come on, you can visit me anytime, but you don't need to live with me. Like, come on. Okay, let's go to the little garden stalls, just because we can, because it's finally stopped thunderstorming. Yeah, she won't want to haggle, I know. Oh, now she's embarrassed. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's, let's just, yeah. Let's see what you have. I, I can't buy much, but... Ooh, I should make jams and then I could sell them. That's fun. I can't buy them and I won't. <laughs> but yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I will not buy anything. I simply shouldn't. I don't know I'd have enough money. But I did do one of these things, one of the tasks, so that's nice. Let's go fishing in the lake. We, we came here. It was fun, but yeah. Wait, actually... Oh my god, I have some extra plants. I reckon I could sell them. I couldn't haggle, so I'm, I'm not going to sell them for a lot, but I could sell them nonetheless. Okay, I was just... I got a little bit. I sold a few plants. We have a little less now. Ooh, I need to get this... I need to get the salad in the fridge. Okay, let's go back home and we can fish at the lake that's right next to our house, because we need to for the thing. Okay, we're back home. First, I do want to put the watermelon salad in the fridge because I do not want it to expire. Oh, I guess we could like 
dig some of the stuff that's around to get some extra money. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit. Lou, would you mind? <laughs> Let's go fishing. We need to catch a fish and in, uh, in this lake. I got 200 simoleons from that. That's good money. Oh no, it's thunderstorming again. No, I just wanted to catch a fish. Do you think she'll get struck by lightning if I just let her fish in thunderstorm? Like, is that a bad idea? Because I don't want her to die. Surely not. Oh no. The weather is getting bad though. Lou straight up ran inside. I really want her to catch one fish though. Okay, just one fish. Be fast. And then let's get back inside. Oh, it looks like the fish in the area are too crafty for Maggie. Are you serious? Run inside. Okay, let's go home. Please run inside because I don't want you to get struck by lightning. <gasps> oh my god, we can get a lot of money from that. Wait, I've called to inform you that your great, great, whatever, cousins, friends, grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left you a vast fortune specifically for you. Will you accept? They're already engaged. Like, we can get married in the next seven days easily. So yeah, let's get married. Yes, okay, if you get married within seven days, we get the money. That's good, that's exciting. Now she's gonna be tense for a bit. Oh, it actually stopped raining again. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, we need to take care of the plants, definitely. Oh, she found the fertilizer from cleaning. That's so fun. Okay, now I think that's the expensive one as well. Oh my god, let's go. Good morning, Lou is awake first, again. <laughs> He's a bit sad. I don't know why. He's not. He's just fine. I don't know why he was making that sad face before. Mac is awake as well now. Let's make it. You can take a little shower first and then you can get something to eat. Yeah, this is really annoying because it's going to be a bit tense for because of the moodlet, but it's going to be worth it when we get the money. Okay, uh, Lou, why don't you call over Daisy? Because she wasn't out of the shed the entire day yesterday, which... Yeah, she needs a bit of- she, yeah, she needs cleaning and she's hungry. Oh, she's starving. She couldn't come eat yesterday because it was storming the entire day. We gotta milk her as well. Oh, look at them. That is so adorable. We can also encourage crop growth. So let's do that. I want her to spend as much time gardening as possible just because she needs to max out the gardening skill. Okay, some more money from the plants coming in. Now I'm gonna let you go pee real quick and I want you to catch a fish to get this done. We still haven't done that, so yeah. Please go fishing. I really just want to get the friendship with the animals up as much as possible. But honestly, it's so difficult. Honestly, I feel like I've been socialized with Daisy, socializing with Daisy a good amount. And like, the bar is barely there. So yeah, it takes a while to actually get some friendship with the chickens and the cows. Or like, the animals in general, in a sense. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see him. This is the, this is the grocery deliver. Oh my god, wait, we do need to ask him about uh, dreams, so... Oh, she likes fishing, that's nice. Ask him about dreams, finally, okay. Cute. Ooh, okay. Should Maggie embrace the change and become cheerful? I think yes, I think that totally fits her. So now she's family-oriented, cheerful, loves outdoors, and animal enthusiast. Which is so cute, okay, I love that. Also, look what he said when I asked him about his dreams. You want to know about my dreams? I suppose I've always let my mind wander with fantasies about travel, adventure, and being somewhere other than the small village I grew up in. Discuss his dreams with the mayor, so we actually have to like report what we just heard. That's kind of talking behind his back, but whatever. It is what it is. Now I actually still have to catch a fish, so <laughs> go on with that. I don't know why it's taking you so long to catch one fish. She got to level 2 without even catching a single fish. <gasps> there we go! Oh, you're awesome. You... Yes, amazing. Today I also really wanted to go to the forest section of the Humford and Bagley because we need to do that for the aspiration. And also I think rabbits are there, so... Let's go. <laughs> let's go to the park that's there. Okay, we're at the park and we've officially done this 
low part of the aspiration. So we have visited all of the neighborhoods in Hamburg and Bagley. Now I just need to find the rabbits. Also, yes, there's this little snail. Lou, why don't you search the snail? Because I think you can find some stuff here. You can take a selfie as well. Where is the where is the country keeper car caretaker? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, yeah. Is he here? <gasps> I found the bunnies. I found the bunnies. We can talk to, what is he? Creature Keeper, yes, that's his name, okay. Let's go talk to him and maybe some, yes, bunnies have appeared. Okay, Lou's taking a selfie, okay, don't mind him. Let's just take a couple of pictures with the snail. That's cute, okay. Let's talk to Creature Keeper. Yeah, you can buy animal clothing off of him, but I don't think I should, well, maybe I could do that right now, because I do have a bit more money now. <laughs> Oh, there's a rabbit! <gasps> Look at him! Whoa, that's expensive! I did not know it was gonna be this expensive, holy! It's so cute, but I cannot buy it. We'll come back when we actually have the money. For now, let's talk to the rabbit. Hello, friend! Yo, he's so cute! Oh my gosh! Take a gift offered by the bunny? You're so cute, you little baby! <gasps> That interaction was adorable. I wish I'd taken the screenshot. Oh no. You gave me strawberry jam. Stop. I'm gonna cry. That's so cute. And the way he gave it to her with his little paws. I can give you... I really want you to like it. Do you think you'll like grapes? I can give him a little grape. Look. <gasps> Wait, that was so cute. Oh, I want to take a screenshot. I, it's fine, I missed it. You think he liked it? <gasps> he liked it! Oh my gosh, nice. Oh, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Maggie has befriended a rabbit and can now purchase a wild rabbit home. Oh, I'm so happy. Socialize with him a little more though, just so I can get this part done. But yeah, this rabbit loves us. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so adorable. I can't. Yes, offer help with errands. Nice. I would love to help you, my friend. Ooh, okay, he has three. I think that just means that I need to befriend more of the, like, foxes and birds and rabbits. So I could do that one. You just need to watch two foxes. That's, I, I reckon that's easy. Okay. Also, Lou found a frog, which is fun. Ooh, it's, a, it's actually worth quite a lot. You know what? If we could find another frog, then we could breed them and we can make a lot of money because this one's worth a lot oh you can harvest chocolate berry nice i think some of the berries have grown now i hope so now we have chocolate berries those are quite useful for a lot of recipes especially like the sweet ones is there anything else i could harvest here i really hope that i could find mushrooms but i didn't have any luck so far okay it's getting really late at this point so i think we should head home I am so happy that I went to the forest because we finally, because we befriended a little bunny and now we can have them at home, which is so adorable. Oh, wait, is it expensive? Because I need to buy it. I don't just straight up get it. It's 400. That's all of our money. No, but I think it's worth it. Oh my gosh, that's so expensive. Okay. Oh no, our plants. Oh my gosh. Please take care of them. Oh, and we can already evolve our first plant. That's amazing. Let's just go to bed. Everybody go to sleep. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you had fun and I really, really hope you enjoyed the first episode. I'm super excited to continue this series because I'm having so much fun playing with these sims right now. I hope you had fun too. Let me know about the names and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.